everyone, welcome to another episode of Dog Craft. Look, Croissant is all grown up. Hi, Croissant. He is so happy. Ah, oh, Lizzie, you left an ink sack in your bed. Uh, anyway, on today's episode, we are going to be creating our splash pad out over there behind our fire hydrant. Uh, like I said in the last episode, it is the middle of summer, it is very hot here, and so I need some way of cooling off the dogs. And so, I'm going to make the splash pad. But first, as always, I am up here in the Dalmatian plantation, and we're going to be breeding another baby Dalmatian uh, with Pongo, and I just saw her, Perdita. There we go, and today we are going to be adding Veronica, and Veronica gets the award for originality when it comes to artwork of the week. Uh, she sent me this picture on Twitter of the Frenchie family from last week's episode. So cute, she made Pudgy the dad, Celeste the mom, and the little, the little kid croissant. I thought it was really, really original, and so uh, I wanted to add her uh, and give her her own Dalmatian. So now I'm going to go down and check out all of the other artwork uh, that was submitted. Um, just a few of them, some of my, my absolute favorites uh, that I was able to choose. Um, so this one, I absolutely love little Paige reading a book. Um, and then the stare-off between Paige and Stampy, that was so funny. I got sent quite a few from the last episode when I got the two French Bulldogs and then Bred the Third. I really like this one that said, look at me, when I was trying to get Pudgy to look at me. Um, and then the pig that Wink set on fire. Uh, and, and some of the horses that I have. I love them all. Thank you so much. Today, we are going to... Um... Okay, Molly, don't escape. There we go. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to be doing something uh, with my splash pad that I didn't mention in the last episode, but I think it's going to be really cool. I'm going to require a red mushroom first, and then I'm going to come over here. Oh, someone asked me to check out Squicken Beach. Here's Squicken Beach. Um, and now, if this is Harry Potter, honestly, I will be so surprised. It's, oh, she is continuously the Squicken who lived. I don't understand where they're all going. There seems to be quite a few Squickens around the dog craft world. And so maybe they're all somehow still escaping, except for Harry Potter. I don't know. Uh, but that's just insane. Um, so let's come over here. Let's really quickly check on the new dog. Someone told me in the comments that I forgot to give them a bath. So I'm going to need to do that in a future episode. Or maybe I'll just bring them out to the splash pad and that will be their bath. Uh, there's Croissant's home. Uh, but we got Pudgy and Celeste doing well, doing well. Hello, Doug. Um, okay, so what I want to do, I built something over here that you will probably be wondering, what is this? This is the ugliest splash pad, Stacy, that I've ever seen. Hey, guys, let's go ahead and stand them up and they can uh, hop around and help us. Oh, look at that. Look at that zombie in there with the, um, with the colored tunic. Uh, anyway, I have built this crazy dirt, uh, dirt wall, but there is a reason for this. It is because I want to grow a mushroom, and I want to do this because I think it just looks exactly like what would be in a splash pad. If you've seen splash pads that have, like, um, the water umbrellas. <gasps> Look at that! Do we like this one? Sometimes you get taller ones. I think that this one is okay. What do you guys think? Yeah? I, maybe maybe they're all this height. I don't know. I really don't know that much about growing mushrooms. I think you can get taller ones. I'm not really sure. But I think that this is good. Yeah, this works. Um, okay, so now basically I am going to be digging out all of uh, what I created. Um, and I made another shovel just because I assumed I'm going to... Uh, break this diamond one uh, but I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo this entire dirt thing uh, I had to build the dirt thing because mushrooms can only grow with bone meal at a certain light level so I had to block out all the light I tried doing it at night and that doesn't work I had to block out all of the light now I'm gonna take this thing down hopefully the mushroom won't despawn or anything um, and and shrivel up and die because I'm exposing it to sunlight I don't think I think once it's grown it's grown hopefully um, because I think it's gonna add just a really cool element to our splash pad so I'm gonna dig all this out and then I'm also going to dig one layer 
uh, down on every uh, kind of all around the mushroom. And then we're going to fill that in with water and wool and lots of stuff like that. So, all right, guys, keep me company while I do some digging. Let's go start the music. Okay, so I've actually dug out uh, a hole too deep because I realized that I want my splash pad to be sunken down a level um, into the ground. So I have dug out that hole and now I'm going to come over and get all of my supplies that I have here. I've been collecting all my wool from my sheep. Don't need all of this dirt anymore. I can put that back in my storeroom um, as well as all the other dirt that I just got. So let me get all of my buckets of water and let me also keep my cookies with me um these are the colors that i want to use for the splash pad i want it to be mostly red and white uh, and that's why i've gotten more red and white uh wool than the other colors but i do want to add some other colors just for variety um, and i did have to run back to that mini <laughs> mini desert to get uh, more cactus green because uh, I keep forgetting to get cactus. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a few more. How many buckets of water do I have? One, two, uh, I, I'll have five. So I need to have uh, three more dispensers. Um, and I think I'll just have five total. So if I make uh, three more bow and arrows, um, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, there we go. And then um, let me make sure that I'm doing this right. I'm pretty sure it's the um, the bow and arrows surrounded by cobblestone with one piece of redstone. Yep. Uh, there we go. So one, two, and then three. Uh, okay, so now, and these will stack, right? Uh, yes. Um, let me put all this stuff back in here. I want a clean inventory. It's bugging me. Um, so let me then try to kind of um, arrange my, my supplies here. So I'm going to need first all of the buckets of water and the dispensers. Uh, there we go. Um, don't want to use my bucket of milk. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and fill these buckets of water. Uh, out of my pond. Oh, look, the current. I need to fix the current here. Um, and I also need to eat. I just realized that my hunger is pretty low and I wasn't able to sprint. Uh, let's hurry up and get this done. The sun is already going down. Uh, take another bucket of water and another bucket of water. So I think I just want to place all of this stuff randomly. I don't think it has to be too designed for the splash pad. I think that this is kind of a cool random shape that I've made. Uh, I, I, I think that that's cool. I think that it's, it's uh, nice to just have it be uh, completely random. I think I'm going to have just like a random uh, one here as well. Let me get my pickaxe back and do that. Um, yeah, I think the random is nice. Uh, we'll do one here as well, like maybe a level of two. Um, around the mushroom itself is going to be water and so then I think all of the dispensers will just be randomly like here oops that's not how it has to be it has to be um, I need to place it like uh, like that so that the hole is coming up um, we'll do another one I guess over here um, I oh I should be just putting buckets of water in all of these uh, there we go. Oh, we're gonna have to go and sleep again. Let's do one. Um, let's do one here. 
here. There we go. And we'll do one out over here like this. Uh, oh, I'm forgetting to put the buckets of water in. Um, and there. I'm going to go ahead and sleep right now really quick. I don't know if you guys saw during the sped up uh, um, part of the video, but I had quite the battle with some skeletons. I nearly died. Uh, Wink saved me, luckily, and because uh, it was saying that I couldn't sleep because there were monsters nearby until Wink went and killed them all. Um, but it was... Uh, it was pretty intense. I saw the battle going on underneath my house. It was kind of funny. Okay, so we just have to place the last one here. I think we'll do it... I don't want to do it over here. I think I should do it in the middle or something. No, I guess it should be like over here maybe. Like, um, like here? That's good. We might need to add to these. I might need to make some more buckets and add so that there's more. Um, but for now, this will this will work. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting down all of the wool. And like I said, I want to do kind of a pool around um, around the mushroom. I guess let's do like a some kind of similar pattern. Hmm. How should we do it? Maybe we should do white. Uh, around all of the pressure plates that the gray pressure plates are going to go on. Uh, will that look good, I guess? There, and then move. Move, Everest. Um, give it some kind of uniformity, maybe. Let's do that. So white, and I might change my mind and change the colors. That That's the nice thing about this is I thought about doing a pattern, uh, but then I realized that splash pads usually are just like really multicolored and um, and fun because they're meant to be, you know, fun areas for kids. I don't know if any splash pads exist for dogs. Uh, you know, is there a water park for dogs? Did I just invent something? Someone leave me in the comments or tweet me if you have ever seen a water park for dogs. If you have not seen a water park for dogs, uh, then I might make this my life's mission. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I honestly just don't know if there's ever been... Uh, I mean, a lot of dogs don't like water. There are definitely some dogs that would just rather not... Uh, play in any water uh, whatsoever but I'm sure that there are lots of dogs that love playing in water and I don't know if there's water parks for dogs you know some of the places that I take Paige and Molly to to, to board them have um, have swimming pools for dogs and I definitely know that people use swimming pools as like um, therapy for dogs when they've been hurt um, that's definitely a thing, uh, an exercise for dogs that are really overweight because it's easier on their joints. Um, I've seen like little underwater treadmills for dogs. Um, I've, I've seen those kind of things for sure, but I don't know if I've ever seen just like a fun splash pad water park kind of like swimming hole for dogs. No, not true. There is a dog border called Ship's Corner um, in Virginia Beach, Virginia, which is where I used to go to the beach every summer. And I would board Paige there. And they had a giant, um, like a giant swimming pool in the back. And it was just like a fun, uh, you, you'd throw like a bone off of a dock on the swimming pool. And then the dog would go and fetch it. And it was just meant to be. But I don't know if there's anything that's like open to the public. That's if you're boarding your dog there and you pay for them to like go there and have that experience. I don't know if there's anything just in the public, like a dog park that has some kind of funny water feature in it. Um, okay, so I've just been kind of um, messing with this a little bit. I'm actually wondering what would happen if I replace this bottom thing with wool instead of dirt, if the mushroom's going to be fine. I'm assuming it is, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'll put some red. No, no, no. Actually, I want the water. I forgot. Move, Everest, move. Um, I need to block off the water somehow, though. And I guess I need to start with the other colors. I was just kind of going around and placing as much red as I could um, because I definitely want red to be the predominant color um, that's happening in red and white to, to make the mushroom kind of make sense. Um, but I think that we've put a decent amount of red wool down everywhere that we can start. Oh, and I only have seven left, actually, um, that we can start adding some of the other colors um, 
well and I guess now I'll just add some of the white too uh, just kind of in random places da, 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 there and there this might look rubbish um, oh I don't want to put one there this might look really really horrible um, after it's done uh, I, I'm not really sure if this random color thing is gonna work out right now um, but I think it will um, because that's that you know that's how splash pads are they're very very just colorful and they use that kind of material I don't know what it's called but it's like um, it's almost like a multicolored concrete uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Like it's like a, a, a stone, like a concrete, but with lots of different flecks of color in it. And that's kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, just lots of different flecks of, of random colors. So that's sort of the, that's the gist of it. Um, and I want to make sure to leave a nice area here for, um, for all of the water. I feel like I'm not leaving very much wa uh, water space by the mushroom. Um, there we go. Let's just put down some more of these colors. Where should we put them? I feel like I need more of the purple. It's looking a little too primary over here. Um, and I suppose I could use maybe, do I have like a lime green? I probably don't. Um, I could use like a, a different color wool as well, introduce another color. Um, let's go ahead and put down, um, I'm going to need to borrow one of the buckets of water as soon as I have this area completely sealed off, um, which I think I do. Let me borrow one of the buckets of water and I'm going to just need to start filling up, uh, filling up this area here. So run over run over here and grab this and maybe you know what I will use my milk bucket for now let me drink my milk um, which I should probably do every episode uh, anyway and then we're gonna just start bringing over oh you know what I'm gonna replace this wood or wood dirt um, with I guess a, maybe a white one um, and then just start dumping these in until the water stabilizes there we go get some more and I hope the dogs like it you know and what I thought of doing too is I thought of actually breeding a wolf puppy because I haven't had a wolf puppy in a while the wolves are primarily the dogs that will like the splash pad the most because they are the ones that shake off when they go in water I'm pretty sure the copious dogs uh, don't do that in fact they might even just drown and die <laughs> in water I'm not really sure and I'm not sure I'm gonna test it out so primarily this is a reward uh, and a fun um, build that I am doing for Wink and Everest and Noah and uh, and also for Tucker and Basil I feel really bad I I leave them out constantly whoops not there uh, we want to make sure to put the water in just right here and is it it's almost still uh, and I don't even remember which um, which uh, thing I got this out of and I'm also wondering now if I, I, I should have done it flat with the ground I think I should have I think I messed up I think I might have wanted it um, what's the word flush with the ground so that you just walk onto it like this and not sunken down because I do like the idea of it sunken down but then you get this sort of like dirt right here so maybe it just needs to be maybe I'll just add another row of wool wink will you get out of there are you sitting why are you there maybe I'll add another like row of wool around the border so that it kind of um so that it, it sinks down get out of there wink thank you um like that so you kind of get to it and then you come down that'll look good um all right so then we can kind of um we don't have to finish all of these edges around here because we'll we'll do that um, around the border with the the red and the white and all that all that jazz um, okay so did we get all of the water currents uh, sorted out of this one there yes yep I think that's good um, and then actually I wanted to make another dispenser to go on top of the mushroom uh, let me, I'll show you guys because it's kind of hard to explain. I want to have a lever so that you can go underneath the mushroom and then water will come out the top of the mushroom. Uh, just like a real, I think this is really realistic. Um, okay, so I need to add these. I need to get in one more bucket of water. And then which one did I take the bucket from? I think I took it from this one. 
Um, and we're going to have to sleep again. So I'm going to go sleep and finish uh, up the um, placing the wool. Okay, finally. <laughs> that took so long. Uh, but halfway through, I decided to start using sand. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. I really like the look that it gives it. Uh, this is just so colorful and fun. Uh, I might make a few more adjustments over here. Like, I don't like how there's a, a fine uh, straight line over here. Um, and I do need to add some torches around uh, just because it's kind of dark over here uh, because of this big wall. Actually, I just need to move this wall. I need to scale this so that it gradually goes up instead of being a, a huge thing like this. Who's hurting? Goodness, wink there. Um, I don't want to give you guys all of my food. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and activate the splash pad. Um, I'm trying to remember if I had buckets of water in all of these. I think I did. So all I need to do now is I need to come over here and sit down the dogs because I don't want them. Uh, oh, I just gave him all of the food. No, are you kidding? I'm going to have to go get some more food. Uh, okay, you guys all sit down. And then what I want to do is uh, pillar up. I need to make one more dispenser. So let me see here. I need to get the redstone again and make... Another bow and arrow. Do I have more? Yep, more string. And then put the bow and arrow here and make the dispenser. And then also I'm going to make uh, a lever. And this is going to go at the top. If you've seen, um, I don't know if what your guys' water parks are like, but my water parks when I was a kid, uh, oops, I have that backwards. Um, I, there were, let's see, there was like a giant bucket that would pour over and there was, um, I had this one water park where you would go down a pirate ship uh, slide and then you'd go down a tree slide um, and uh, what, what was the other one? Uh, the, oh, there was like a frog's tongue that you would slide down. Like lots of different. I've even seen, I think I've seen a mushroom. Um, if I have it, I'll put the image up right now. I saw, I did a Google search and I saw a splash pad that had a mushroom umbrella. Um, so this is going to be our like main water feature. Um, and who knows, maybe in the future I'll even connect it over to the hydrant. Uh, I think that that could be quite cool. Uh, okay, so let me get my shovel back here that's almost broken and if I just put the lever um, right up at the tippy top right there. Oops, where'd it go? What just happened? Did you just see it glitch out? That happened earlier with my shears too. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, oh, oh, no, it's back. It's back in my inventory. Oh, no, I have two levers. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, and it's getting dark again. Are you kidding me? All right, let me try to put it up there. There we go. Um... And now all I need to do to make it actually functional is I need to make a bunch more pressure plates. Uh, and I just noticed, oh, where's all my cobblestone? Oops, how am I, wait, why can't I make a pressure plate? Oh, I need smooth stone. Um, do I not have, I must have it at my house. Um, okay, and I just saw concrete here that you're not supposed to be here. You can be dirt. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cut really quickly. I'm gonna go and get the smooth stone to make the pressure plates and I'm gonna go get some more food.
Look, croissant and Paige and Lizzie are down here in my storeroom. I don't know what they're doing, those crazy dogs. Molly's around here somewhere. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is I want to go and get Tucker and Basil so they can join in on the fun because they have been feeling very, very left out. Hi, guys. How are you? My normal wolves. These do not have the doggy talents mod on them. They are just my normal guys. And so because of that, I think I can breed them. Oh, Tucker's sad. Tucker, please come out. Please. I want to play. I know I haven't been around. Here, have a pork chop. There you go. And you have a pork chop too. Oh, they didn't enter love mode. Maybe they were... Um, maybe they needed food? I don't know. Can I give them... Oh, there we go. Hearts. Oh, hearts. <gasps> They're kissing? We have a baby wolf! Oh, let's see. Let's see. <gasps> Hi, baby wolf. Come out here, guys. Come out here. Come on. Come on. Oh, they teleported. Where's the baby? <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Come on out in the splash pad. All right, let's go. So this is it, guys. We are finally ready to test the splash pad. So all we have to do is uh, make our pressure plates, uh, like so. And um, I made 40. I don't think I need 40. But I have to put a pressure plate on all sides of, whoops, whoops, I stepped on it. Uh, all sides of the dispensers, like this. Uh, there, 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 and there. And then, oh look, he set it off. You set it off, Tucker. Uh, okay, there, there, there. And then here, 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 and here. They're already using it. Oh, the baby, the baby shook off. <laughs> That's so cute. And then uh, if you step back on them, they, they go off again. Yay, the only thing I wanted to do is I wanted to maybe add note blocks, but I kind of couldn't really figure out how to do it because they have to be two underneath. Oh, look, the baby's sticking with Basil. It's mom. And then let's go and sit up. Uh, let's sit up the, the dogs over here, and then everyone can come and play in the new splash pad that we built. I'm so excited. Guys, what do you think? <laughs> it's the perfect thing to do in the summer. We can play. Oh, you know, I should get the throw bone, too. And then we could um, we could have fun, like, fetching it and, and stuff in here. Look, they're all activating it. This is so much fun. And then, okay, now time for the grand finale. I am going to set off the lever. Where did it go? Is it over here? There it is. Okay, let's set off the lever. Bam. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> and now it's, uh, the splash pad is officially open for business this summer with the dogs. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Run around, play, play. Look at them, look at them all go. <laughs> they love it. I think they love it. <laughs> it's, I, I, yeah, I think that this was a fun build. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's pretty cute. And you are so cute, you little baby. What should we name you? In the comments, uh, leave uh, a name. Maybe like something cute water themed, like splash or droplet. Um, Something that has to do with the splash pad, I think, would be good since that's the day you were born is the day that we completed the splash pad here on Dogcraft. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dogcraft. Thank you so much for watching, and I was... Oh, the baby just cried, I think. Oh. Anyway, uh, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Oh, no, wait. One of them glitched underneath. Did you see a dog go under... Get out! Get out, dog! Who's in there? Wink! Of course it was Wink. <laughs>